I should calm down And then I'm overthinking everything about you And that we're good the way we are Hi everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Happy long weekend, happy Labor Day. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be doing a clean and decorate with me for fall. We're gonna give this porch a huge makeover. This will be the first time that I am actually decorating for any type of season, so at least on this house, and I'm really excited. But before we decorate, we need to clean this porch, and I'm using just a regular Dawn dish soap to clean the floor and brooming it. I needed to take out a few stains that it had in here, and I'm just using the hose to take all of that soap away. We're also gonna be putting new plants, which I'm really excited and. And please pray for me because I am horrible with flowers and plants. They always die on me. So I'm hoping that this time they could last a little bit longer. I did purchase uh, two water containers that are actually supposed to stay in the plants and water it by itself so hopefully that will work and i'm also incorporating a few seasonal flowers which i know that those are not going to be alive that long but i still wanted it to incorporate some flowers to make it more festive and fall uh, theme and since this is the first time that i am actually decorating this porch i'm gonna go minimal we're not gonna go crazy and all of that but i still wanted to give you guys a few ideas if you are planning on decorating your front porch before fall gets here and even though i live in arizona let me tell you that when i was cleaning this porch it was windy and the weather was super perfect it wasn't that hot at all the sun was out but you could still feel the breeze and that fall it's literally approaching so let's continue with this cleaning motivation and then after we clean we're going to start decorating and i'm going to let you know where i purchased everything because everything that we're going to putting in the porch it's going to be brand new those are new items that i've been buying throughout this few months before i'm too invested i should probably ask you ask you all my questions get to know you better why can you be trusted will you take me for credit and will you knock me down i know i feel it's something for you For the door, I'm going to be using the Mrs. Myers in the scent apple cider. This literally makes it feel and smell like fall. I love this scent. I kind of love it a little bit better than the, I think it's acorn scent. Um, I feel that that is really strong, but for the apple cider, oh my God, guys, I get super excited when I find this ones all the time because every time I go to Target, they never have it in stock and when... I went last time, I literally purchased three bottles just so I can have a backup. And I'm substituting the paper towels for newspapers. I used to use the newspaper all the time whenever I will clean the windows. And I stopped for a while, but I'm going back at it again because 
Every time I get the newspaper at the mail, I threw it away in what a better way to reuse it than using it on the windows. And let me tell you that sometimes newspaper works better than the paper towels. So that is what we're going to be doing for the, this windows. It was a little bit easier as well because I did wet it out with some water and then just using the Windex. I wanted it to make a big change in this windows and try to paint the uh, edges of the windows black the same way that I am doing it on the inside. I haven't shared with you guys a video like that. I did share some ideas on my Spanish channel, but not on this side. The only thing is that because we live in a community, we need to ask for permission for any changes that we do on the exterior. And I wasn't going to wait until our response. So we're not going to do that until in a future and see if they approve it. But I feel that if we paint it black, at least at the edges, it's going to look more modern. And for the plants, I went and bought two new aloe veras. One of them, it's more of a succulent, and then the other one, it's an aloe. This uh, big one and the three little ones are more seasonal, so those are not going to last that long. So I'm, I'm hoping that they can last at least throughout this fall and winter season. Look at these colors, how beautiful they are, and they were only $1.98. I had to purchase a new bag of dirt and i went ahead and cleaned these pots because like i said i did had a few plants before and they all die on me and i know it's my fault because some of the plants i overwater it and then the other ones i underwater it so i really need to work on that but hopefully this ones last me a little bit longer at least the aloe veras because i know that this three little ones and then the dragon one those are just seasonal but i still wanted to incorporate a little bit of a fall color in plants and so you every time you walk into the house and you walk through the porch you can feel that uh, fresh vibe with the plants I did had all of these pots already from like before, but I did went in back into Lowe's and purchased a new pot, which it's white and you will see it at the end because for the dragon one, I didn't had another, uh, a bigger pot enough for that one. Cause I know that even though it's seasonal, I still had it to make some room so that the roots can grow. And, but you will see that. And then for the decorating part, this is my favorite part. I'm going to go ahead and put this rug, which I bought at a Target from the Trash Toll collection, which I thought this was really perfect, not just for fall season, but throughout the whole year. And I actually got this one on clearance for only $13. Then on top of it, I am going to add this one that I purchased at Lowe's for only $14.99. And it's, it's, thankful i thought that this was really perfect and it actually goes with the color like again the bottom one it's more neutral colors which it's easy for us to add another one on the top and to make it more fall festive i'm gonna incorporate this pumpkins that i also purchased at lowe's they are plastic pumpkins and i just think that these ones are perfect for your porch and they are 
neutral colors and a little bit more of an orange i was having a little bit of trouble in here trying to figure out how to put them at the beginning i wanted to put them on the other side but then i knew that they were going to be on our way to every time we will open the door and so i end up putting it against the wall and obviously we need a sitting area so we're going to add this table and these two chairs that i purchased at home goods i literally got that table on clearance for only for $54 and then those two chairs were $39.99 $40 but I thought that the colors were perfect again because I know that I can use them throughout the whole year and I just need to switch either pillows or maybe like a little tiny decoration on top of the table the colors are extremely perfect the table actually kind of has like the same color or similar colored as my door so i thought that it was perfect i was thinking on adding two pillows onto the shares but then i end up not putting those pillows like a decorative pillows let me know get comment down below what do you guys think should i just leave this two shares without a uh a pillow or should i add those pillows we're gonna water these plants because we don't want them to die again and i'm gonna place this three little ones near the door by the entrance so every time we will walk in the entrance you can see those bright vibrant colors and then i'm just going to put the aloe veras a little bit farther from each one and these are the pillows that i was talking about these two pillows i purchased them at walmart last year for only five dollars and so even if it gets windy and if they blow away it's not gonna hurt me that much because they were they were only five dollars but i don't know i'm still debating on that for the door i went ahead and purchased this wreath at target for only 28 dollars, and i thought it was really perfect minimal the colors are perfect for the door it's from the trash hole collection but you guys know that trash hole collection it's more neutral colors more minimal and it, it just goes right with the door the colors are extremely perfect i fell in love with that wreath i kind of wanted to get another one for the inside but we'll see i am going to put this dragon plant out here i did purchase this base at lowe's and i know that i can reuse this throughout the whole year as well because you guys know that this is only a seasonal plant and i can just uh, change the plan on every season <laughs> Always find your way to higher ground. May you always keep your head held up high. Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough, shining from within. I can tell that you're tough. Just the sight of you when I'm at my weakest point. Makes a world of difference, oh, you make me strong Pretty little thing, you're a diamond in the rough I hope that you guys enjoyed the video that I was able to give you some inspiration for your own porch or front area of your home if you did enjoy this video don't forget to give me a big thumbs up also if you made it all the way to the end thank you so much i really appreciate you and if you're not subscribed subscribe to the channel so you can be part of the family thank you so much for being here and i will see you in a next video bye keep my heart and soul strong First thing in the morning and the last Baby, you're my future and you are my past